Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips, Action Auto Parts, Super Dave, and the 66 Buick Riviera GS. It was sitting all the way back. Huh? Get a prop rod? It was sitting in the very back of the of the, the lower lot where a lot of my old stuff's at. And unfortunately, I've been having some sticky fingers picking up on some little old things. People don't think I know what's out here, but uh, anyway, this car, Dave gets back, we'll prop the hood up on it. This car's got a special engine in it. Now I know it's gonna be stuck, it has to be. It's sat for too many years, but uh, it's the GS. I think they made like, don't hold me to it, but 5,718 GSs, and then uh, a little over 100 of them had the two four barrels. Unfortunately, mine is not one of those, but it's still got a little bit of remnants of bucket seats, the console, tilt wheel, factory air car and all of that so when i got it here it set up front a little bit and then when i had anthony helping move stuff with the roll back i said ah, let's stick it back here but the motor that's in it i told dave if we had that out to get the garage built i'd like to put it up on a shelf and take it and the transmission apart and put some uh clean it, put some stuff in it to try to make sure it gets broke loose. It's got the factory Buick thinned aluminum uh, valve covers. The breather top is meh, but it's still rare. Uh, the old, old nail head. And so, uh, yeah. So, somebody asked about it, I, and I told Dave, I said, I hate to price it. And Dave said, well, I wouldn't. He didn't realize what was in it. And so then I sent the pictures to the guy. He said, well, it's probably stuck. And I said, dude, I told you that. And so that gave me my out. So it's not for sale. The motor and transmission's not. We're going to get it yanked out and get it put somewhere in the dry. And then once we get the garage built this year, Lord willing, uh, then it'll go inside and Dave can break it apart and put some unstick them stuff in it. And uh, then I'll still continue to sell parts off of the car but that yeah, right there rebuilt and throwed in some kind of a little hot rod would be the tits dave and i yeah, did say it tits it definitely be the tits yeah the more perverted version of breast yeah <laughs> so that's what we're doing i wish we could have filmed it but once we we had the whole black betty bam blam this thing was over a hill and yank 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 finally got it up went the other direction and got out of the grass onto the dirt and once I had it sliding and rolling, we just brought it up front. Didn't we, Barney? What, the steering wheel? Yeah. Yeah, it's got some good parts on it that's specific for that Riviera GS. So, there's Barney. Barney Google. He's the junkyard dog. But that's, I'm going to wrap this one up. As it's done getting late, we had a guy come and get the uh, transmission transfer case out of the 99 F350 Dually. And so he just left, so he's out here late. So it's got the highway headlights day. And uh, so he's gone, and me and Dave was talking about this. as well, if we're going to try it while it's dry, because in the morning we'll have dew on the ground. And he said, there goes Cluck Norris. He's out clucking around, man. Cluck ain't walking off cocky. Getting all fat. Yeah, I know it. So uh, Dave said, well, let's just go get it and try it. So here it is. Well, take about 20 minutes, maybe something like that yeah. but it's up here and we'll take that breather and uh, lay it up and it's worth doing some cleaning and some repair work on now if it was one of the two fours like i said it's a little over 120 something of them my lord that ain't gonna tell them what that thing would be worth uh but it's still it's a desirable engine so as long as it's not busted if it's just stuck it can be redone so uh that's it that's all is, is that all dave that's all Oh, a, I thought you had a dinner date. Well, you know, it'll be back. I'll eat later. Yeah, if that's what you call it. And so we're going to wrap this up. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Please subscribe. And as always, check out my friends up in Bethel, Ohio. That's talking about the Beamer and Son garage. And uh, see what those guys are doing. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.